Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in this video, I want to show you guys the uh, Sanchez Nation. Uh, I think it's abandoned mining colony. It's the four out of 10. It's the equivalent of the Serpentis Fi outpost. And uh, yeah, potentially there's some good load in here. So first thing I do, I start orbiting uh, the gate, activate my afterburn so I have some speed, start targeting some stuff. And I think that the Valkyries are the best uh, drones to use against uh, these guys now once they get in range let's see if uh, I can indeed one shot these uh, these frigates that tends to be the case so let's just try there we go blab that's of course the power of the Gila not only do you have two medium drones that are really tanky and dish out a lot of damage uh, with, with small um, rapid missile launchers you actually take care of all of these frag frigates pretty quickly as well now this one needs two shots so we'll do that i'll uh, put uh, my drones on another medium and then we'll just start god damn it <laughs> i do still have to get used to it a little bit firing the volleys at the right targets so now that one explodes you are next got a little bit of shield oh don't forget to actually put my resistances up here and uh, then you'll be next come on okay time to target a couple extra mediums as well you're going down i hope uh, because they they do have a little bit of problem tracking the small ones from time to time um so we'll just keep going like this that looks all right you'll be next just target a few more yeah, should be okay at this point. Next up here, another enslaver. I don't even need a TP, I don't think. Uh, but of course, it does add a little bit of extra damage. There you go, even without a TP. He's taking care of 26 kilometers. Might be a little bit too far. We'll see. 22 should still be good. No, we actually managed to hit him. That's nice. Of course, they're also traveling towards me, closing the gap. So all of this is pretty good. Uh, that one needs a second volley, so we'll do that. And then we've got a scavenger here. They really shouldn't be too tanky. But yeah, this is the um, the Gila doing the 4 out of 10 in Sancha space. So let us attack another Reaver here. Just one quick volley. Goodbye. You are next. And that's a volley on him. Uh, we'll send you guys up on this one. There's three more. There's three sets of missiles. So maybe with one full load of missiles, I'll be able to handle all of the frigates. Unfortunately, one of them is definitely too far away. That uh, that savage one right there. That one got hit. That's nice. Hopefully, it's a one shot here. Come on. And then the final one. No, god damn it. <laughs> so for, for the final one... I will probably need to like maybe put one of the Valkyries on him while we reload and then there's just a few mediums left to take care of but we should be quite okay and we're at the at the gate of course for part two I can probably cut the afterburner at this point and that one is down very nice target the mutilator And at this point, I will save my missiles for the next part so that I can really go for uh, the, the target with the potential loot. That is one thing you do have to do. Uh, let's go for that one as soon as possible. So next up, we've got the Phantasm. And we are at four minutes, just a couple mediums left. So honestly, this site in the Gila, pretty doable and decently fast so far. And then we've got the final one at 24, which will hopefully die pretty quickly as well. There we go. Engage. Just a little bit of laser fire, but that's actually already starting to really miss me. You can see my shields slowly climbing up here, which is good for the next part. So just keep going. Keeps missing me completely. I don't know why he wouldn't want to close the gap then. Uh, but yeah, Sancha ships, they do look pretty cool. He explodes. Let's pull the Valkyries back. And then let's get ready for the race at part 2 in the second room here. So once the Valkyries are in, we'll activate. And then we'll try and uh, grab the... Um, 
the special one and that that's really all i go for just like in the uh, fire outpost uh here it's a cruiser but it's really the only target you want to hit so let's see if i can actually find him here true sancha that's what they're called true sancha foreman how do i do this just uh target him approach him as fast as i can out with the medium drones they can engage go go activating target painter and uh, yeah once he's in range flight time is at 27 kilometers once at 30 we'll just uh, straight up start spamming missiles towards him as well and hopefully we can time it all right grab the loot and then get the hell out of here uh, because having to clean the, all of this up would take quite a bit of time i still think it's doable because you can uh, kite the damage without too much trouble um but this is of course the more efficient way of running this site in the meantime still getting used to the d scan oh there's actually some probes out there or did i not recall my probes recall scans okay they were my probes and here we go he's at 12 kilometers uh, i'm actually gonna cut the afterburner on this one just so that i can maybe grab this in one go you can see the amount of damage is starting to pile up so you don't have to worry about that in a, in a fire outpost all right he's gonna die next burst it keep moving in that general direction grab loot quick burst of the afterburner again here we should be pretty close come on be a good one loot all 117 uh, not bad right click anything warp it in zero move 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 and oh, god damn it and i actually got in warp you can see it's definitely harder than the uh, than the Serpentis Fire Outpost because they have much better range. Um, and yeah, with the Gila you do have to go in, but my shield buffer is strong enough to just straight go for the foreman, grab his loot uh, and uh, and then get the hell out of here. So there you go, guys. Uh, Sancha, 4 out of 10, 117 million just from this. Uh, let's hope it's a Symptom C-type energized adaptive nano membrane. Not bad at all. Um, and yeah, let's hope that my, uh, my exploration luck holds up here. That was pretty damn good. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.